Hi. Before we begin, um, I had something I wanted to say. I know it's a horrible time to be asking for money, um, because everyone's, everyone's in bad shape right now. Um, but I was kind of waiting for the whole pandemic thing to subside a little bit before trying to raise money for my annual MS walk, walk MS, whatever they call it. Um, but, uh, the, the, it never subsided. <laughs> so, um, we're getting towards the end of the fundraising year and, uh, I, I figure may as well at least ask because some people might be able and willing to make a, a donation to help with MS research and cure and support for people who have MS. Um, oops. So I'll put a link to my fundraiser page in the, the video description. And if you have a little extra money, it doesn't have to be a lot. Um, a couple bucks is better than nothing. Uh, but the, the fundraising year is coming to an end. Um, and, and I really haven't done any fundraising at all, uh, for this year's, uh, walk because the walk got canceled. And, um, so it's just, it's just been, it's just been a, a mess all around. So, um, if you have a little extra money and you can afford it and you're, you're up for it, please consider donating a little bit of money. Uh, all the money that goes into the fundraiser link goes directly to the National MS Society. And uh, this year, I'm sure they are hurting a lot because uh, all the walks got canceled and people like me haven't really done any any fundraising. So, um, so yeah, if, if you can... I would, I would most muchly appreciate it. I would very much appreciate it. Um, but if you can't, I understand. Um, and so, yeah, I will put that link in the video description and, um, take a look. And other than that, let's get on to the video. <gasps> oh, stop hitting things. Hello, everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Hi, everybody. This is Theron. It's been a while. Um. Oh dear. F five. F three. Oak leaves. Um. How do I? Oh shoot. Hi. Um. I am not on the Minecraft Land Party server. You might have noticed. Uh, I am on the 3D Printer Professor server, and he set up a virtual Maker Fair, which is pretty cool. Um, and uh, this keyboard does not appear to have a tilde key. Yes, that's it. Nope. No, it's a minus. Tilt the... Wow. Oh, wait. Uh, tilt it there. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm going to try some key combinations here. And... Oh, look at that. Okay. I broke something here, and I don't entirely know what it was. Um, I'm going to try and repair it. I think... There we go. I hope that was right. I, if that's not correct, I apologize. 
Um, uh, yeah. Okay, I think that looks all right. So, I didn't intend this to be a particularly long video, but we are on the uh, the maker the virtual Maker Fair server, and I think there's an entrance sort of over here. Let's go out. Oh no, this is a build. Stop swinging, Theron. Um, I don't want to break everything. Oh yeah, look at this. I'm in creative. This is a really cool thing. So this little blocky area here was the original area. And Joe set out aside a, um, oh, hi doggies, um, some chunks for people. One by one chunks, or just single chunks. And blah. And said, go, go crazy, build whatever. So this is Barb makes things tree here. She made a slime tree. And it's got a daylight sensor and uh, dispensers with fireworks, lots of fireworks. So whenever the sun comes up, uh, there's a bunch of fireworks. So yeah, people, I haven't, I haven't explored a whole lot of this. Um, Joe did a, a, video on his channel i will link to that in the description this is pretty cool this is uh, a dna structure so it, it shows using the different colored links the four different proteins that make up dna and it shows what that looks like on kind of a macro scale pretty cool um i built a little aquarium it's not terribly impressive but i wanted to play around with some of the the 1.16 blocks since the server is on 1.16 and so I've got kind of blue campfires and blue fires and there's the fireworks. Ow. Ah, missed them. Oh, well, they were fireworks. I heard them. So I made this little blob aquarium and it's a tall aquarium and I've got a bunch of tropical fish. I had some, I had some dolphins in there, but they all died. Uh, I left space. I left an air gap up at the top thinking that they just needed air. So then I planted some kelp and seagrass and stuff down here. And yeah, it's a little, it's a little clear. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I didn't need to be this tall, but I kind of got into the whole idea of using up the whole chunk, at least going down. So anyway, uh, I'll link to uh, 3D Printing Professor's video, and he has a the address of the server is in that video, and it's open to the public, so you can come and. Um, oh wow, oh, that's right. This is like a couple eight segment displays. So people have done some pretty creative stuff. Um, little rides, mini games, um, you know, little castle type things. A uh, whole variety of different things, and oh, there was a 3D printer. Where is that? Uh, there's a sponsor, and this is the sponsor booth, which is pretty cool. And then some people went out and built uh, out a ways. Um, here's the printer. Uh, larger, larger builds, because you notice there's a big tall thing right next to my thing, which is uh, a uh, SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. And it's built to scale, which is super cool. Um, and that's that's this here. And same person went out and built a bunch of uh, other uh, rockets of different types in different uh, say all to scale. It's pretty cool. This little rocket garden. Um, not sure where that is, but we can go back and look at the map. Uh, this was pretty cool. So this is meant to be a virtual maker fair. And it wouldn't be a Maker Faire without a 3D printer. Evan, uh, you and Todd and Truefolds, um, it's pretty cool. So, and they've got preloaded with different uh, different G codes. So, and look, and the printer goes down, and it starts printing, and it prints layer by layer and builds up a thing. Ooh, oh, and then it leaves it leaves the atom. Now I have a golden apple. Pretty cool. Uh, so there's some neat stuff here. 
so you can uh, go check it out yourself um, it's on it's 116.2 so it's not even on the new build yet but the new build just came out I think just the last day or two um, so some, some of these builds are pretty pretty creative uh, so yeah anyway I have not fully explored everything. Uh, oh, this, this is actually pretty cool. I saw this in the video. And this is a tic-tac-toe machine, I think. Get down there. Yeah, so you could actually come up here and play tic-tac-toe against the computer. So it's got Minecraft, it's got all this redstone logic back here. It's a massive amount of logic uh, built to do the machine thinking for tic-tac-toe, which is pretty pretty slick. Anyway, uh, I'll link to this in the video description. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff here to explore. You can come out and explore. And then it's going to be, they expected that it will sort of ev devolve into an anarchy server. So stuff is going to get, uh, stuff is going to get wiped out. So if you want to come check it out for yourself, you should do so. I don't know if there will be a download available somewhere. That would be nice. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's that. Oh, one thing before I go. <laughs> this is a anybody who does 3D printing probably recognizes this. This is a 3D Benchy. Uh, it's a little boat, and you 3D print them, and it's got you know, it's got weird angles on it, and it's got overhangs or you know bridges and oops uh, and it's all there designed to stress test your 3d printer and your slicing um, and it's a cute little boat I mean so generally speaking they print pretty well um, but then there's always little things on it that make it look a little bit funky and those are expected to be there little things like oh this hole in the back should be round um, and then the top is angled and you kind of expect to see stair stepping. There's a few things like that. One cool thing that they did is they built this all out of quartz pillars. I believe that's what that is, right? Quartz pillars, which have these lines and they oriented them so that the lines look like the, the printing lines. That one's in the wrong place, I think. Uh, the printing lines. Yes, it is. Let's fix that. I don't think anyone will get upset if I f fix this because it should look like that. So these are these lines in the quartz pillar are the are the 3D printing the layer lines, which is super cool, very clever. Uh, anyway, that's it. A little postscript on that. Let's head to the uh, Minecraft LAN party server and. I will see you when I get there. And we're back. <coughs> and we're back. Hi. We're over here in the pyramid, which is pretty cool. Um, never quite know where I'm going to wake up. It's the middle of the night, so let me sleep through the night, set a spawn point. So who knows where I last slept? Um, hmm. I don't have plans here, really. But let's uh, let's head back, back home. So we're back on the Minecraft LAN party server. I haven't been on here in a while. Um, we are the server is still on one dot fifteen dot two. Have not updated, and I probably should, should bite the bullet and go ahead and do it. I will talk with um, Bart makes things and the others to see if they're cool with that switch happening. Wow, there's nobody there. That's surprising. Um, Yeah, um, oh, interesting. So, 
I don't know. That. I don't think there have been a huge number of changes. Um, and I've been playing just because I've been playing. Been playing in a while. <laughs> Life got weird with the whole COVID situation, didn't it? And it just kind of disrupted everything. Um, recording schedule. Uh, just general work flow of life it's kind of weird um kind of annoying it's been going on for a long time too and i think there were some issues over at the cove so let's go take a look there um so yeah i was kind of hunkered down figuring oh this stuff will pass things will get back to normal Hey guys, uh, and no, that didn't happen. It's been like six months. It's kind of, it's kind of annoying. Um, and hi. Oh, you're you're alive. Okay. Oh, oh. Barb said something about villagers. Over here, not unlocking. Oh, I heard somebody refresh. That's, I don't think you're even supposed to be a tradable villager. So, Jack. Ah, so, yeah, um, what was I saying? It's been, it's been a while. Um, I was kind of hoping that things kind of get back to normal, and they haven't. And Child Power G has been working from home a lot, and so I just don't have, like, time to, um... I just haven't had really time to sort of set aside time to play and record and make plans. And I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing, which is easy to do from the couch. It requires a little less, um, a little less setup than my recording here does. So, hmm, I thought there would be a guy back there. So, uh, I have recorded a little bit of Animal Crossing. Uh, I have not... Huh. I uh, ha haven't uh, edited that into anything useful yet. I'm going to see if I can do that. Um, but... Uh, um, I'm doing some interesting things in Animal Crossing. Fishy Joe. Huh. Um... At least I think they're interesting, but I haven't uh, haven't even done that yet. I've been doing a whole lot. Uh, it's been a little bit up in the air. Um, a lot of what I had been doing before the lockdown happened kind of revolved around the Magic Castle. The Magic Castle is closed. Oh, what is this? Oh, uh, bad language. Yeah, I don't disagree. Oh, you don't have a profession. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I, I've been doing a whole lot. I've been, I've been messing around. I started, I kind of got the itch to start messing around with, uh, magic stuff again so I started playing around with a couple things one of them is a trick called the invisible deck which is a 
a trick that uh, many magicians have kind of a love-hate relationship with. Um, <clears throat> so I am... Some layers. Uh, so I started playing around with that and making the, the deck that you do the trick with and started doing some research into it and then was like, oh, this is actually very interesting. And started uh, just realizing, you know what? It's not a lot of literature on the invisible deck. I mean, there is, but there's not. I don't, that doesn't make any sense, I'm sure. But um, it just seemed to me like, oh, I could write something. <laughs> so I started doing research for a book. I'm gonna write a book. Maybe that'll never, maybe that'll never finish. But that is kind of the something I've been spending a lot of time and energy on lately too. So we'll see. Did I get turned around? No. There's the back of Doma Kuhn. So, okay, so what I came out here to do, I'm going to have to completely fix, tear down and fix this iron farm when I upgrade to 1.16, because it, well, it does not function at the moment. Uh, and it won't function under 1.16, but with a little bit of tweaking, I think it could be made to function. So, I don't know if there's been any activity out here. So here's a tree. The bar makes things made. A little bounce house tree. Uh, just kind of built a a new and improved version of that out on the uh, the 3D printing professor's uh, the the Maker Fair server. What is this? Oh, it's dunk tank. That's right. Where's the target? Oh, with 1.16, we have those target blocks. We could totally do this with target blocks. Yeah, okay. Cool. Interesting. All right, let's go find our way downstairs. So anyway, I don't have a whole lot to report on or talk about. Um, I, this is spooky and creepy. Let me get out of here. There we go. Okay. Looks largely the same, but it's hard to tell. There's lava pouring over here. Anyway, um, I did a backup of the server so I can do the upgrade. Should be relatively painless. There will be some things that break. That's there's that's a known known issue. But we can spend time fixing them. Wow, this thing is so big it gets out of view distance. So I think this is a little larger. So, there we go. All right, nothing exciting. Sorry about that. Uh, just wanted to show the virtual maker fair and record something. Again, I don't know what I'm going to work on, but I have time to work on things. I'm not, I'm not working. I have plenty of time, so that will be the plan. So I think we'll call it an end there. Um, if anyone actually watched, thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Line Party, and uh, I will see you next time. All right. Bye.